Some of you may have used emulators or at least seen those YouTube videos that showcase games at 4K internal resolution, but you'll notice doing this doesn't magically remaster the game, and the main reason for this is the textures. So what can we do to improve this? Can we upscale them? And is that easy to do? Well, today we find that out as we take matters into our own hands and remaster some older titles. I first started researching into texture packs for the emulator PCSX2. This emulator has had a massive 2.0 update quite recently that has fixed so many issues that plagued it before. It's still not perfect and quite a handful of games still run better on platforms like GameCube running on the Dolphin emulator, but we'll get to that later. I looked into texture packs and thought I'd only find maybe 4 or 5 from dedicated fans of a certain series, but instead I stumbled across a gigantic 550 line spreadsheet of them. The majority of the packs on this list are also completed, meaning every texture in the game has been upscaled. Upscaling hundreds or even thousands of textures from these old games used to be a daunting task, but now with the power of AI upscaling, it's a lot more easier. There's also quite a few programs that these upscalers get to choose from, so it's why all these texture packs aren't made equal, with some of them looking very questionable in some places. Also the biggest shocker to me was that installing these were incredibly easy. You pick a game that you want remastered, go to the spreadsheet and find it, if it's not there you can do a simple google search to find one, and download it. Then drag the folder starting with slus into the textures folder within PCSX2 and boot up the game. You do have to make sure that your ROM is from the same region as the texture pack, but if it's not you can actually just change the folder's name to the region that you have, and then it should be compatible. You can do all of this whilst the game is running too. With all this in mind, I got to downloading packs for some of my favourite games to see how good they were. And the first one I tried was Ratchet & Clank 3. This one was one of the better ones, instantly making everything look really crisp. This made me realise how much textures have a huge difference on how I perceive older games in 4K. It's important not to zoom in here super deep or stop and stare too much, as AI can sometimes get stuff wrong. But for a community pack, this is better than I was expecting. The only first major gripe was the text. Text and also icons do end up with a lot of miscalculations and questionable lines, but it does still seem to achieve the effect of the UI feeling much more modern and clear. Besides that, the environments looked really good, and the characters looked really nice too, especially those robots. Overall, this was a really good first impression, so I moved on to downloading a ton of more texture packs for different games. I tried SSX Tricky, Simpsons Hit and Run, Burnout 3, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Vortex, The Getaway, and Black. All of these were on pretty similar level to the Ratchet and Clank texture pack, and a lot of the games I tried I've played quite a bit without texture packs, so I got this brand new perspective, like seeing it for the first time. If it wasn't obvious yet, I highly recommend you guys try this out for yourselves. The spreadsheet will be down in the description, so all you have to do is head over to there, find your favourite games, and get to installing some texture packs. Obviously, it doesn't come close to the level of customization that we can do for PC games, but especially for the games that are stuck on the PS2 era, I don't think I'll play them anymore without these texture packs installed. I'd much prefer the overall sharpness of the textures, despite the obvious drawbacks AI upscaling has. So now that we know that upscaling PS2 game textures on PC is possible, and is also extremely easy to do, I set my sights on finding out if there are any other games in particular that go above and beyond this. And that's where, to no surprise for me, Gran Turismo 4 came in. This game proves to us that there is more that you can do to a game than update its textures. I've kept my eye on this game's community over the years, and the amount of work that they have put in to not only bring in the game to modern day, but adding stuff that wasn't there in the original is incredible. First off, this game already holds up amazingly, but a bunch of mods takes it to that next level. What's better is that more recently, the game has gotten one of the biggest mods that I've ever seen for a PS2 game, and that's called Spec 2. On the mod's website, there is a list of everything that it adds, and it just goes on and on. The most notable stuff being enhanced engine sounds for 400 plus cars, with over 130 new recordings. There are also new cars, events, and quality of life UI improvements. This mod doesn't however change much in the way of visuals, so that's where the retexture mod and the HD texture pack helps us out in this department. Seeing all this come together, you wouldn't believe that this game came out in 2004. This was the first texture pack out of all of these so far that honestly felt like they had used magic to upscale them, 
as they just look completely different from most of the others. I think if I had to guess, it seems like way more time and effort has gone into cherry picking upscaling techniques, and a lot of trial and error went into making these textures look the best they can. There's also a deinsulating patch that makes the image look a lot sharper. Here are the settings I used as well if you want to copy these. All of these Gran Turismo 4 settings and the information as well is originally from Rowdy. If you're interested in Gran Turismo 4, I'd highly recommend you go check him out. He has a lot of guides on making the game look its best. Having explored what the PCSX2 texture packs had to offer, I turned my sights onto the Dolphin emulator. Lots of the games that I have fond memories of in the PS2 are usually better performing and have less bugs when you instead play them on the GameCube version running on this Dolphin emulator. So my expectations for texture packs were pretty high here. Being that a lot of the games perform their best on here, it's most likely that people will gravitate towards modding for this emulator, right? Well, the list of games on the spreadsheet that I mentioned was incredibly small compared to the one for the PS2, but I desperately wanted to try remastering one of my favorite childhood games, Spider-Man 2. Being a huge Spider-Man fan, this game was a dream come true to me as a kid, and I desperately wanted to see it in high res. Fortunately, despite there not being an entry on the spreadsheet, I stumbled across an ambitious retexture mod on ModDB. This mod is by far the best one I downloaded at this point. The UI is so clean and well remade. The buildings and characters look incredible, and best of all, there are tons of different suits that you can choose from in the pack. I chose the 2004 Raimi suit to represent the film that this game is set in, and not only did it upscale the textures, but the colours and lines look so screen accurate compared to the original. Swinging around the city or beating up bad guys in this game's new form was such an amazing feeling. It also got me thinking of how in just a few steps, I had practically remastered this title. Like, I could legitimately see a publisher shipping this as a remaster. Not a remake, but you know, the remaster that updates textures, brings 60fps support, allows running at higher resolutions. The only thing it's missing is the modernised controls. Even though that sadly we can't make any gameplay adjustments, the mod does offer the ability to choose different controller buttons that show up. So for me, I chose PS2 buttons, which made the experience feel like I was playing the PS2 version like I did as a kid, just with a new fresh coat of paint. When I finally stopped fangirling over this retexture mod, I wanted to try my other favourite Marvel game from this era, and that's Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. This game's texture pack was pretty basic, but cleans up the visuals in a way that's non-destructive to the original art style. One thing I haven't really mentioned up to this point is the lag that you'll first get when you install these packs. This emulator, along with PCSX2, has quite a bit of stuttering as it loads the textures in. This game was especially stuttery, but you can either wait it out or usually playing for a bit and then restarting gets rid of it. Both emulators have options that prefetch the textures and stores it on your PC's memory to speed this process up, but on Dolphin, this actually made my game crash at startup, so I ended up avoiding it. The other amazing texture pack I needed to showcase was the Resident Evil Seamless HD project. Essentially, a bunch of dedicated fans have put together textures for the first three Resident Evils. You can actually use this texture pack on the original PC version, but I was going to be testing it on Dolphin for this video. To be honest, I tried this one before, but I'm still blown away at how amazing it looks today. I'm really glad modders are keeping these originals alive, especially when the remakes of these games now exists. This pack is still using AI, so again, it's not perfect, but it's still impressive for a fan-made mod. I can't wait for the tech to evolve to a certain point, where fans can quite literally remaster a game in one click of a button. Especially with stuff like RTX Remix coming to the mainstream. That thing is way too packed with features to go through on this video, but not only does it let you add RTX lighting, but it also lets you replace textures and where the light sources are as well. It's the closest we're going to get to having proper access to the dev tools of any game that it supports. It's going to be absolutely crazy to see what kind of mods and fan remasters come out of that, and maybe I'll showcase some of those as and when they come out. If you want to try any of these texture packs or mods that are featured in this video, they're all going to be down linked in the description, so if you want to try any of them out, I highly recommend you do so. So we explored the crazy world of fan texture packs, and how much talent and effort has gone into making remastering old games so easy that anyone can do it. But what's knowing to remaster these games if you don't know much about the emulators themselves? That's why you should probably head over to my ultimate PCSX2 setup guide that has a lot of tips and great practices that will help get your games looking their best. See you over there.